I had. I haven't even told a joke yet. Why are you doing that I was one? Warming stuff up. The wa 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 wa. I have three today. Oh good. Three. All I right. am loaded with material, making up for the, you know, missing. The crap. Miss, right, no, I missed last week. Oh, I thought it was just because show. it was crap. A nine-year-old boy came home from the playground, had a bloody nose, black eye, torn clothing. Obviously, he was in a bad fight, and he lost. His father's patching him up. He asked his son what happened. Well, Dad, I challenged Larry to a duel. You know, I gave him his choice of weapons. Uh-huh, said the father. That seems fair. Yeah, well, I never thought he'd choose his sister. It was just a warm-up, right? Got beat up by a girl. Oh, come on! This guy had a fear of someone under his bed at night. So he goes to a shrink. He tells him, I got problems. Every time I go to bed, I think somebody's underneath it. I'm scared and I think I'm going crazy. Well, just put yourself in my hands for one year, said the shrink. Come in and talk to me three times a week and we should be able to get rid of those fears. Okay, well, how much is this going to cost what's the charge eighty dollars per visit says, i'll sleep on it he said six months later the doctor meets him on the street well why don't you come back and see me about those fears you were having well, 80 bucks a visit three times a week for a year it's twelve thousand four hundred and eighty bucks bartender cured me for ten dollars i was so happy saved all that money i went home and bought myself a used pickup truck is that so said the doctor and how, may I ask, did the bartender cure you? Oh, he just told me to cut the legs off my bed. Ain't nobody under there now. Okay, what's your third offering? Golf joke. All right. All right, this one should be good. Nick and Lou head out for a quick round of golf, and since they're short on time, they decide they're only going to play nine holes. Nick says to Lou, Let's say we make the time worth our while, at least for one of us, and spot five bucks on the lowest score for the day. Lou agrees. They enjoy a great game. After the eighth hole, Lou is ahead by one stroke, but cuts his ball into the rough on the ninth fairway. Help me find my ball. You look over there, he says to Nick. After five minutes, neither has had any luck. And since a lost ball carries a two-stroke penalty, Lou pulls a ball from his pocket, tosses it to the ground. I found my ball! He says triumphantly. Nick looks at him. After all the years we've been friends, you'd cheat me on golf for a measly five bucks. What do you mean, cheat? I found my ball sitting right here. And a liar, too, Nick says. I'll have you know I've been standing on your ball for the last five minutes. I don't know what to say. Uh, wow, dude. I'm so glad we had this time together. <laughs> oh.